Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential equation. And make sure to stick until the end of the video where I have two bonus problems that are similar to this one which you guys can try to solve. Alright, so I have 2 to the power of x equals 0. And I want to find the value of x. So first off, I'm going to take the log on both sides. So now I have log 2 to the power of x is equal to log 0. Now, if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can actually move this variable b, or sorry, this exponent b, to the front of the logarithm. So this would equal b times log a. So in this case, I have log 2 to the power of x, and I can actually move this exponent x to the front. So this would equal x times log 2 is equal to log 0. Now, I can go ahead and divide both sides by log 2 because I want to isolate x. So then these two cancel out, and I'm left with x is equal to log 0 over log 2. Now, log 2 this is equal to 0 0.301 and log 0 this is actually undefined. So now I have undefined over 0 0.301 and this means that our answer is undefined because you can't divide undefined over 0 0.301. Undefined is already undefined. Meaning log 2 to the power of x equals 0 is undefined. And this actually makes sense because you can't take anything to the power of something and make it equal 0. So that is our answer. So I have 9 to the power of x is equal to 27. And this may seem like a challenging problem because if you notice, you take, not, let's say, 9 to the power of 0, right? This is equal to 1. 9 to the power of 1, this is equal to 9. And 9 to the power of 2, this is equal to 81. Meaning, x in this case would be either a fraction or also a decimal. Because it can't be a whole number. All right, so to solve this, it's actually really simple. 9, this is the same thing as 3 to the power of 2. So now if I replace 9 with 3 to the power of 2, I get 3 to the power of 2 to the power of x is equal to 27. Now, 27, this is equal to 3 to the power of 3. So 27, I'm going to replace with 3 to the power of 3. So now I have 3 to the power of 2 to the power of x is equal to 3 to the power of 3. Now if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 3 to the power of 2 to the power of x, that's going to equal 3 to the power of 2 times x is equal to 3 to the power of 3. And 3 to the power of 2 times x, that's the same thing as 3 to the power of 2x. So you go 3 to the power of 3. Now, if you notice, both of these have the same bases. Both of these bases are 3. And if I have something in the form a to the power of a is equal to b to the power of b, then this means that a... Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. If I have something in the form a to the power of a is equal to a to the power of b, this means that a, sorry, if I have something in the form a to the power of c is equal to b to the power of m, this means that c is equal to m. So in this case, 2x is equal to 3. Now to solve this, simply divide both sides by 2. These two cancel out. And I'm left with x is equal to 3 over 2. All right, so now to check, 
Our original equation was 9 to the power of x is equal to 27. Now x is 3 over 2, so I have 9 to the power of 3 over 2 is equal to 27. Now 9, again, is the same thing as 3 squared. So I have 3 squared to the power of 3 over 2 is equal to 27. Now I have 3 to the power of 2 times 3 over 2 is equal to 27. These two cancel out, so I'm left with 3 to the power of 3 is equal to 27, and 3 to the power of 3 is 27. So if 27 is equal to 27, and because this is right, our solution is right as well. All right, so I have 6 to the power of x is equal to 12. And now I want to find the value of x. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the log on both sides. So now I have log 6 to the power of x is equal to log 12. Now, an important property of logarithms is that if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can actually move this x1 and b to the front of the logarithm. So this is equal to b times log a. So log 6 to the power of x, I can actually move this to the front. So I'll have x times log 6 is equal to log 12. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide by log 6 on both sides. So now these two will cancel out, and I'll be left with x is equal to log 12 over log 6. So now log 12, this is the same thing as log 6 times 2. And I have this over log 6. Now if I have something in the form log a times b, this is equal to log a plus log b. So log 6 times 2, that's going to equal log 6 plus log 2. And I have this over log 6. Now, this is the same thing as log 6 over log 6 plus log 2 over log 6. So now these two cancel out, and I'm left with x is equal to 1 plus log 2 over log 6. I'm going to again change to log 2 times 3. Now I have x is equal to 1 plus log 2 over log 2 plus log 3. Now log 2, this is equal to 0 0.301. And log 3, this is equal to 0 0.4771. So now I have x is equal to 1 plus 0 0.301 over 0 0.301 plus 0.4771. So now I have x is equal to 1 plus 0 0.301 over 0 0.7781. Now I have x is equal to 1 plus 0 0.3868. So x is equal to 1.3868. this problem, I have 2 to the power of x is equal to 5 to the power of x plus 7. So I actually have two methods to solve this problem. So make sure to stick around for the video to see me solve both methods. So for my first method, method 1, I'm going to write my problem right here, 2 to the power of x is equal to 5 to the power of x plus 7. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m 
times a to the power of n. So five to the power of x plus seven, I can write that as five to the power of x times five to the power of seven. And now from here, I'm gonna divide both sides by five to the power of x. So then these two cancel out and I get two to the power of x over five to the power of x is equal to five to the power of seven. Now from here, an important property of the exponents is that if I have something in the form a to the power of m over a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m minus n. So two to the power of x over five to the power of x is equal to two over five. And another property is that if I have something in the form a to the power of m over b to the power of m, this is equal to a over b to the power of m. So two over five to the power of x. And this is equal to five to the power of seven. Now from here, <clears throat> I'm gonna take the log on both sides. So I get log two over five to the power of x is equal to log five to the power of seven. And if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front, so I get b times log a. In this case, I have log two over five to the power of x, so I can move x to the front, and I have log five to the power of seven, so I can move seven to the front. So I get x times log two over five is equal to seven times log five. Now from here, we obviously want to find the value of x, so to do that, we have to get rid of log two over five by dividing both sides by log two over five. So then these two cancel out, and I get x is equal to seven times log five over log two over five. And we have our answer here. This is our solution, but there is a way to simplify it more. So first off, if I have something in the form log a over b, this is equal to log a minus log b. So log two over five, that's gonna equal log two minus log five. And now from here, I get seven times log five over log two minus log seven times log five over log five. And these two cancel out, so I get seven times log five over log two minus seven and this is the same thing as seven of log base two of five minus seven. Now for method two. What I can do is my equation was two to the power of x is equal to five to the power of x plus seven. And now I'm gonna just start by taking the log on both sides. So I get log two to the power of x is equal to log five to the power of x plus seven. And now using that property, I get x times log two is equal to x plus seven times log five. And now if I distribute the log five, I get x times log two is equal to x times log five 
plus 7 times log 5. Now if I subtract x times log 5 on both sides, these two cancel out and I get x times log 2 minus x times log 5 is equal to 7 times log 5. Now I can factor out x, so I get x times log 2 minus log 5 is equal to 7 times log 5. And divide log 2 minus log 5 on both sides. So these two cancel out and I get x is equal to 7 times log 5 over log 2 minus log 5, <coughs> which again simplifies to this. So x equals 7 times log base 2 of 5 minus 7 is my answer.